Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. Today we have Nicole Yeager. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. Hey, Nicole. Hi, how are you guys? We're good. We're how are you? We're doing good. We're doing good. Awesome. I'm doing great. That's awesome. So let's get started. So um, what exactly do you do? do, you do? So I am a full-time realtor, full-time mom, single mom at that. Um, I love my social media. I do a lot of social media marketing and, and creating, you know, different content. Uh, I'm a new agent trainer and I work on our team as kind of part of our, uh, leadership, I don't know, team. (laughs) I like it. I like it. So when you were, uh, when you were younger, how did you, uh, what were you planning on being an agent or what was your whole plan? No, no. My grandpa was in real estate. So I grew up with him doing real estate. I don't remember a whole lot. So I was pretty young, but I wanted to be a veterinarian. And I thought like that was going to be the career for me until I went and did my like job shadow day in high school. And it, it ruined it for me. (laughs) Like it was never going to (laughs) happen. You're like, we're not doing that again. (laughs) No, I had to go in and watch a surgery of a cat's leg get amputated. And when the vet like karate chopped the bone, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I'm man. out. I'm not, not doing yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. So then what did you, uh, what did you decide to do after that then? So you decided not to do that. Then how'd you get to, how'd you get from there to be an agent? Like what was that process? So I was a dental assistant for 15 years. So I worked in surgeries. I worked at, so I did surgeries nice. <laughs> and, and I ended up doing surgeries. Anyways. No karate chopping, no, no surgeries. No karate though. chopping. No. Yeah, no <laughs> karate chopping teeth. Um, so I did, re- I did dental for seven, 15 years. Sorry. I did um, orthodontics. I did general dentistry. I did implants and surgeries. And one of the girls that I worked with for many, many years Um, she was in real estate before all the market crash, you know, so all that stuff happened. She got out of real estate and came back to dental and we became friends. So when she got back into real estate, she was super geeked about it. It was something that I had been playing with for years, you know, and I always talked myself out of it. There's too many agents. I know so many people I'll never be able to do it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I decided you know, maybe this is the time, maybe this is where I get to, you know, do something bigger and better. And I can do a little bit more with my life than, you know, fixing teeth and putting crowns on. So <laughs> I, uh, made the leap and I, I'm, lo- I love it. I like it. So when you, uh, when you were making that leap, were you, did you just go straight into it or did you kind of work part-time and no, I worked, I worked full-time both careers. So I was full-time at the dentist office, full-time in real estate, for the first two years. So wow. I actually just went full time all in post COVID when they were going back to work. I was like, I can't do it, man. I just, <laughs> I'm not going back. <laughs> can't. So I made the leap and it's been fantastic. That's so you've awesome. been full time real estate agent for a year now then, right? Um, yeah, just about okay. a year. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's awesome. I like it. So when you, when you started out, did you, uh, were you on a team or what was the whole, uh, how did that go? So I'm an individual agent, but we have like a hundred and some agents, uh, locally that we all kind of work as individual agents, but we work together. Uh So I am a part of this big, awesome team and we all work together. So while I'm still an individual agent, I have a ton of support. So it's been really, really helpful. And then I've become part of that support team for a lot of the newer agents who are joining because I was just in their shoes. Nice. I like it. I like it. So when do you, um, I forgot what I was going to ask. We can cut that part out and start over. (laughs) (laughs) We make it awkward, Brad. Taylor, Taylor, you go next. We'll just cut that part. We'll start over with a new question. Jonathan, this is the part we cut it. (laughs) Karate chop. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what is the best piece of advice that you've gotten over the years in real estate that has kind of just stuck with you? So I think one of the biggest things is learning um, community over competition. So I, I really like the idea of everybody working together. We're all here trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to get to the same goal and, you know, leave your ego at the door and just be a good person, be kind, um, treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, you know, one, I actually just met a bunch of realtors the other day 
and they're from a different brokerage and they were, they've all like, they're vets. They've been doing this forever. And they're like, just don't quit. Like whatever <laughs> yeah. you do, don't quit. That's how you become a great agent. Just yep. don't quit. <laughs> yeah. Cause there's so going to be I, hard times. And if you just get through it, you're going to keep going. Yep. So I think that's probably pretty good advice. Um, and the last thing I think is one of the biggest things I've tried to learn and try to implement is just to build relationships over transactions. Mm -hmm. I think building those relationships is much more important than the payday at the end of the day, because the more rapport you have with people, the better, you know, the better your career is going to be over time. Yeah. yeah, for sure. How did you balance the, uh, uh, between family and real estate and two jobs? How did that go for two that? Two full-time jobs yeah. at that. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, I, I don't, I don't balance it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> I have no life by, I actually, I was just talking with somebody the other day and they're like, what are your hobbies? And I was like, what's that? Um, what's a hobby? Yeah. Real estate? I don't know, I don't know <laughs> right? what a hobby is. <laughs> like I used to work out. That doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, I think it's hard day by day. Yeah. It's like minute by minute. Like I was literally just making my kids lunch before I got on the call with you guys. I was balancing a call while making sandwiches <laughs> and then had to like run over to my camera and get ready. It's just, I have no advice on that. I, I don't have a good balance at this point. It's just like, I just got to get through the day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> what is one of the most interesting properties or showings you've been to? Um, a couple of years ago, I was showing a client some houses and we showed up to one and there was like six cars in the driveway. And I was like, Ooh, this is kind of sketchy. I don't know. Let's we'll just <laughs> go in. And it did say that the, the sellers would probably be at the home. So I had that in mind, but I didn't know that there was going to be like 15 people there <laughs> and there was going to be like six of them sitting on a couch, but then everybody else was sleeping on the floors in the room. So like they had air mattresses, they had moved out a lot of the furniture, but there was like air mattresses and people and the, but their heads were all covered. So like they're laying in this, in these like makeshift beds wow. and I'm like, are they That's dead? Are they alive? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is so awkward and they're following these other people are like following us around like watching us and trying to show us this like storage space in the basement and I was like literally he had candy in the basement he's like oh look at all this candy I have I'm like this is we're gonna go we're gonna go we're thank you weird <laughs> yeah. we did not last long in that house no. <laughs> did the did they end up buying it no, no, I don't. no. you no, never no, know no, no. no. yeah I don't know. That was, that was one of the weirdest situations. That's a lot of people to be living under one roof. 15. There were a lot, yeah. like every room had like four people in it. I was like, this is, I don't know. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, she says. That's yeah. awesome. Dude, what is your, uh, you got any, uh, plans for the next year or so? Um, so real, like real estate wise. Yeah. Or well, I guess anything. Yeah. So my, my business, I mean, given I'm only in my third year, um, and this is my first year, like really going all in, mm -hmm. um, I, I would love to do at least 30 homes this year. Last year I did 19. Um, the first year I did nine, eight or nine. I can't remember. So I just want to keep upping it. That's my goal. I'd love to do more than 30, but at this point I'm just trying to set achievable goals and, um, I'm hiring, a, I think I'm going to hire a coach this year. So nice. just to help keep me on track and keep me, keep me moving in the right direction. Um, my kids don't know it, but we're going to Disney this year. So, nice. we're, we're nice. so that's a big deal. They don't know that yet. Um, <laughs> yeah. So like good stuff, good stuff's coming. I like it. I like it. So let's Exciting. say, let's say you had to start all over today and all you had was a thousand dollars, but you had all your knowledge. How would you spend that first thousand dollars? Oh, um, you know, I think I would, my, my initial thought is to do some kind of event to like broadcast, like, Hey, everybody, this is what I'm doing. You know, I, and just kind of try to become like a, um, like the neighborhood person to go to, um, just to develop a, a relationship with everybody knowing. So they know that I'm the person you go to, I'm the one who knows all the stuff. And, you know, I think one of the biggest things that we all get wrapped up into is buying all the shiny things, all the cool, shiny things that, are thrown at us as realtors. So I think, you know, 
not spending all the money on those things, but focusing on clients and, and relationships with people is probably going to be where I throw my money at. Awesome. I like Thanks. it. So I know you're very busy, so maybe you don't have time to read all the time, maybe an audio book when you're in the car, but do you have a business book that you could recommend to anybody starting out? Yeah. So I actually just finally got into this whole audible thing. Um, I'm actually doing the 10 times rule with, or 10 X rule, I should say, oh, with yeah. uh, by Grant Cardone. I'm doing that one right now. I really like that one. I just finished the Ryan Searhant book, um, Big Money Energy. I like that one. Um, I just, I love Grant Cardone's like his hustle and his, like his whole, um, I don't know, just his energy, you know, he's got this like super strong, you know, entrepreneur mentality. And I, I love that, but I also like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever listened to, um, what's her name? Jamie Kern Lima. She's the one who started it cosmetics. And I think her story is super amazing. She's got a book called believe it. And I heard her speak at a Tony Robbins event and she's actually speaking at our EXP event coming up. And I'm so excited because she is super inspirational. So I really like her book. She was told a million different times, no, that her product wasn't like, she could never sell her product to normal women because they all want to see these models and all that. And she kept going and kept pushing and ended up selling her business to L'Oreal for like unheard of amount of money. So like, you know, her tenacity. I love it. That's nice. awesome. Yeah. Her brand is huge now. Oh, it's so, huge. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it. How can people get a hold of you? Uh, well, I am all over Instagram all the time. So my Instagram handle is at Nicole Elizabeth real estate. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook business pages, Nicole Elizabeth real estate. I go by everything on social media as Nicole Elizabeth. So find me. I'm there. I'm on Clubhouse. Same thing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Do you have your own, uh, or how do you uh, how do you use Clubhouse? Honestly, I really love it. I I use it for followers. You know, I get a lot of followers. I have a tactic. I don't want to share my tactic, but I you have don't a have tactic. to. <laughs> we'll go. I have we'll go a stalk tactic you. <laughs> for uh, gaining followers on uh, Instagram. But it's a, um, I love it for just like the little nuggets you can take away. It sucks yeah, that it's yeah. not awesome. recorded, but yeah. building relationships and, and meeting people on there. I've, I found some awesome people just as like referral partners That's awesome. that, you know, it's been, it's been awesome. And I found a lot of awesome ladies who are in similar situations, single moms, you know, trying to, you know, deal with life and real estate <laughs> life and mom life and doing it all. So I think, um, it's, I love clubhouse. I think it's super cool. That's awesome. Yeah. We, we started, uh, I think we, I don't know what it was everyone signed up in the last several like, months. Yeah. Last couple of months, everyone started to <laughs> launch it, going it, on it there, seems, so but yeah. we tried it out. Oh, I, I've been on there a couple of times now. So, um, that's well, you awesome. Gotta find, you gotta find your groove. I yeah, gotta, I you gotta find your groove with it. Yep. Um, you know, I follow a lot of people on there and there's a lot of really awesome, um, content creators and a lot of awesome people on there who've been doing this for years and spilling secrets and, yeah. It's, it is so, it, it's a lot of stuff. It's just, you listen and then you got to like implement and that's yep. where, that's where you fall apart a little bit. Right. Yeah, so. Cause you actually have to listen. Cause it's not going to be there. <laughs> exactly. Like you have to pay attention. So yeah, it's super cool though. Um, so I use that, I use that quite a bit. So I like it. Awesome. I like it. I like it. Um, let's see here. Hey, thanks for coming on and sharing your story with us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love your Love what you guys do. I mean, I, I preach the, uh, you know, professional photos all the time and you guys do a fantastic job and I really appreciate all that you guys do. I like it. Hey, thanks. You got your, the referral code too. So <laughs> right. yes, thank you. <laughs> awesome. So, um, we'll, we'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you guys. Are these working? All right. Is your... There we go. Oh, there we go. I think they're working. Should we tell them? Uh, Mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell them? Subscribe. Subscribe? What do we, do we got to point at it? Hey, I think there's a subscription button like. It might be, it might be there. It might be right there too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. And red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah, I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five star review if they're listening to on Apple. That'd be cool. 
five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't take but, four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this no, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. 